cows have the ability to overeat if you can believe that and they have a tendency to overeat to compensate for mineral deficiencies what adjustments do I need to make anyway we'll talk about that in a minute Well, good morning. Moving cows again, the usual. Uh, they're so funny, they're so greedy. They tore down a gate and got out into this pasture, so they're way early as far as when I want them in here. So then they get in that pasture, and it's so funny, in the spring, they want to go uh, south. In other words, it starts warming up south quicker they want to go that way on the ranch like it's going to matter on this little ranch that if they go, if they go south it's going to be warmer they're just they're so funny they're so greedy uh, they're just they're just funny but anyway we're moving them into this next pasture here that's not where we wanted to be but we're going to go ahead and utilize it right now because of what they did with the uh, breaking in you know early and really it's working out fine this is the time of year uh, when the grass is growing so fast that it's not going to absolutely kill you if something like that happens and they get on a pasture early They're still grazing Annuals, they're not hitting your perennials yet your perennials at least when you're in a native grass program Your perennials is what you're trying to protect and make sure they don't get a second bite on too early and And set the plant back so the the annuals like this is it's not a big deal you're just going on like my last video said performance 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 and that comes from ian mitchell ennis i've left a link to his website and things like that before i don't know that he's ever going to get a chance to come back to the states but if he does and you have a chance to go and go through one of his courses you ought to uh, you'll learn a tremendous amount but that comes from him. This is the cattle are in what he calls performance mode right now, which means everything we do is for the cattle. Everything uh, that we plan right now needs to be for to try to put condition on the cattle. Condition on the cattle. That's what it's about, 100% right now. So that's what we're doing. So we're doing another move. Uh, I know these will get old, but each time there's something a little bit different. And when I get done right here, I'll probably swing in there real quick and see if I can find some manure piles and just show you some things to look for in your manure, manure piles to see if you need to make adjustments that way. Anyway, we'll talk about that in a minute. You can see their energy level has come way up. They're excited, they're bucking, they're pitching, they're running. That tells me that they're moving the right direction. So we're doing, we're doing right. Now it's just gonna take a little bit of time. Take one of the new heifers. I think I saw her in an older video where it looked like she was about to have a calf maybe a couple of, two or three days ago. I'm 
not sure that's hers. Mm -hmm. Think that's hers? <laughs> A couple of heifers there that have had babies. Okay, this manure pile, the consistency is not bad. The issue with something like this is it's gigantic. When a manure pile is this big, and when I'm talking about this stuff, this is indicators. It doesn't mean it's the absolute truth what was going on with this cow, but it's an indicator. You can see, maybe compared to my hand, how big that manure pile is. Cows have the ability to overeat, if you can believe that. And they have a tendency to overeat to compensate for mineral deficiencies. So if I start seeing a bunch of piles that are gigantic like this, the first thing I would do is probably look at mineral and see if there's something I can do there to adjust that. Here's a pile over here that's closer to what you want to see. It's the right consistency. It's got the little pool. It's got the little pool in the middle here, which is nice. But you can tell by my hand, it's it's a nice size. So why is this one so small and that one and that one over there so big? It's not necessarily the size of the cow. It's just that they do have the ability to overeat, and sometimes they do overeat to make up for a deficiency in mineral. Uh, so that could be what's going on. This is an older, older manure, manure pile, but it's back during the dormant season when everything was yellow, which that should tell you that if they're eating more yellow or more lignin in their diet, it'll start stacking. Well, if it starts stacking like that, you need to adjust it. Ideally, you want it to look like that last manure pile, which was a nice consistency round, and then it had the little pool in the middle. That's perfect. That's what you're after. So if it's like this, they're getting too much yellow. If it's real runny and sheeted out, it's too much protein. You wanna, you wanna balance in between those things for maximum efficiency. Okay, so I've showed you three different manure piles. One is too much lignin, one's too much protein, and one is about right. And so you can use those things to monitor your cattle, see if they're eating the right stuff, and see if you need to make adjustments. So the question may be, well, what adjustments do I need to make? Well, if you're, may, if you're, if you're too high a protein, you're seeing too much runny, there's different things you can do. We always try to think of what we can do that maybe is in sync with nature, that doesn't cost us anything it's just a management deal if you don't have those options you know if it's too much protein you need to somehow force them to eat yellow uh, mixed with that protein maybe you bring them in to a, a, the pens and have hay for them where they eat hay for X amount of time during the day and then you turn them out to eat green the rest of the time you've got to balance it like that that takes a lot of labor and it takes money for hay. So we just don't do it like that. Uh, our best solution on all of this stuff is if we see too much of any one thing, if we come into a pasture and it is all stacked, you know, all, the 90% of the manure piles are stacked, we move the cattle. Uh, the, the solution on, on the other way, other side too, is if it's too high in protein, and we come in and we see 90 percent you know loose move the cattle so in other words we're we're giving them more selection and that's the the easiest way to try to get them to a balance point because they'll they'll graze to balance themselves if a pasture doesn't have enough yellow to go with the protein and you see more loose 
manure piles, then you move them. The next pasture may have more yellow. You're looking again, if it doesn't have enough yellow, guess what? You move them. And you just, that's the solution to most stuff in our setup. It doesn't cost us anything. It's just a little more management. And so that's how we choose to deal with, with those types of issues. Now, if we can't get it stopped or we can't get it balanced, uh, then we may have to look at moving them to a specific pasture that has more of what we need based on what we're seeing in the manure. More yellow in a pasture if we see them too loose on their manure. Uh, more green in a pasture if they're stacking. Uh, so that's how we manage that. You can manage it with feed, but it is feed and hay and all of that is something that costs money. So we, we try not to do that. We try to look at a solution that involves management of our feed or our forage before we go to a, a purchasing some type of feed. Anyway, just a little tip. Hopefully that helps somebody. And if, if you get a chance to look at Ian's website or like I said earlier, if he ends up back over here in the States, watch for a school. You know, I know he does a school at uh, Judy. He'll, he'll, a lot of times he'll do a school with us somewhere. And so it just, he goes around the country. Just, if he comes back over, I'll try to make a note in some of my videos. And if you're interested in that stuff, which you should be if you're, if you're raising uh, livestock. And it really doesn't matter if it's goats, sheep, cattle, whatever. Uh, you need to try to make a point to go to one of his schools because you'll learn a lot and it'll pay you big dividends in the long run. So anyway, that's, that's all we had to do today. We're done. I'm heading in.